Good evening. A flying saucer landing on the steps of Sydney Town Hall. Fact or fiction? Well, that scene was fiction from the ABC children's serial The Strangers, but there are some people who claim it's a fact that flying saucers have landed here. They point to things like the American Saturn V rocket, which, if it's launched successfully at 9 o'clock tonight, will open the way to a manned landing on the moon. And they say, why shouldn't the same thing happen in reverse from other planets? Well, so far, it doesn't look as if there's life on other planets in our solar system. And a spacecraft from the nearest galaxy to ours, traveling at the speed of light, would take two million years to reach us. So the intergalactic theory seems unlikely. Nevertheless, reports of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, continue. And they're not completely ignored by officials. The British House of Commons has just been assured that lights seen over southern England were the planet Venus and not men from Mars. Australia, too, has societies which report these phenomena, and they claim to have sighted 120 UFOs this year. Here's Frank Bennett. Just a moment. I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, well, Frank Bennett's delayed in the outer limits, but he's going to be with us in just a minute. Flying saucers, where do they come from? This is the title of a recent book on the subject of UFOs or unidentified flying objects. And the author is Sydney businessman Mr. Richard Tamling, who claims to have had several sightings of UFOs. Mr. Tamling was uh, an RAF photographer and an expert in uh, aircraft recognition. Now, in the preface of this book, Mr. Tamling, you say that now that the existence of UFOs is gaining widespread acceptance, the question is, where do they come from? But my question to you is, are you sure that uh, the existence of these things is gaining widespread recognition? They've been around for 20 years now in this present phase. I think that if we haven't learnt of their presence by now in 20 years, that we're the one that needs questioning. <laughs> what about part two of this? Where do they come from? What are the latest theories? I've researched quite deeply into this, and my solution is that they come from everywhere in space. This galaxy, other galaxies, everywhere except Earth. You mentioned other galaxies. One American physics professor has said that if they do come from other galaxies, they would have taken two million years to get here. What about that? Well, this professor hasn't heard of teleportation yet. You know, teleportation was a wild idea, but it is already a line of scientific research in America. What does it mean? It's the transmission of matter from one point to another without any physical medium. So there's no travelling at the speed of light or any other speed? No, it's like our image on TV tonight. It, we're here, our image is transported somewhere else. In fact, with teleportation, we would be transported elsewhere. Sounds physically. an interesting theory, anyway. If that's so, that certainly makes us Earth people rather backward, doesn't it? Yes, I think it does. I think we have a long way to go before we ever can dream of these standards. Mr Tamling, let's look at some of the examples of uh, UFO shapes that have come into you. There are many shapes. I've numbered 171. I think 136 appear in the book. Some are weird and wonderful, some are interesting. So, some are a way out. There's a block there, like a child's block. Weird shapes. Surely some of them must be wildly wrong. They, they're so, such a variety of them. Well, very few people get a chance to photograph a, a UFO or a flying saucer, and a sketch is the only way of representing it. Representing it. Mm. Well, you talk about photographs. Well, you, you do have some from your book here. What's this one? Uh, this is taken by Paul Villa at Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, the saucer was quite low. Uh, he was prepared beforehand by a warning, and he w was there with camera on hand to take this. This might sound weird, but he has done this on two occasions. A close-up of the same saucer in a slightly different position. The uh, windows that would appear to be around the rim are not windows at all. Uh, there's no windows visible in this photograph. This is something that only shows in our atmosphere, apparently, according to Paul Filler. This is Paris. UFOs over Paris. The Eiffel Tower on the right-hand side there. Uh, I don't know much about the photograph, except it's claimed to be genuine. Paul Villa again. Uh, Berna, Bernalillo, New Mexico. This saucer was claimed to come from Coma Berenices, 400 light years away. Uh, this is the Trinidad saucer or object. This photograph has been under scrutiny uh, by American scientists for a long time and has been proved genuine. This is a photograph uh, from an 8mm uh, colour movie film. 
Uh, it's pretty hard to fake on 8mm colour movie. You're not suggesting that some of those might be fakes? I think this is always a question. Uh, you know, we people here mm. aren't always honest, and I think there's always the opportunist. Mr. Tamney, you say here in your book that it's only a matter of time before the strangers from the skies come to know us better. Now, are you suggesting some kind of invasion from outer space? This is quite possible. I don't think in the sense that we would think of it, but people coming, yes. Uh, in 20 years, they have, well, their saucer sightings have been at military bases. Any place that would be a key situation or key position mm. in wartime, now, why would they want to come to uh, the Earth, uh, the planet Earth? Because we're, as I said earlier, apparently a rather technologically backward nation or Earth or planet compared with where they've come from. Yes, I haven't an answer, a direct answer to this. I pose this as a question uh, to the reader of the book. Uh, as a matter of fact, my book was written in that spirit. I am telling them so, so many things that I believe are honest and true. I'm leading them to think for themselves. I don't want them to believe in flying saucers or disbelieve in flying saucers. I want them to get out and look and see them. All right, well, we'll go and look and see and think, and thank you very much, Mr. Tambling.